Now it's time for Reading is Magic. Today's book is called The Pencil by Ellen Alberg and Bruce Ingham. Pencils, everybody's got them. There's colored pencils, there's hard pencils, ones with erasers on the end. Pencil, P-E-N-C-I-L. Here's a sketch I did in my sketchbook in pencil. And later on, I'll add some watercolor or maybe some pen or something to it. The pencil. Once there was a pencil, a lonely little pencil and nothing else. It laid there, which was nowhere in particular for a long, long time. Then one day, that little pencil made a move, shivering slightly, quivering somewhat, and began to draw. The pencil. The pencil drew a boy. What's my name? said the boy. Er, Banjo, said the pencil. Good, said Banjo. Draw me a dog. Pencil drew a dog. What's my name? barked the dog. Er, Bruce, said the pencil. Excellent, said Bruce. Draw me a cat. Oof. The pencil hesitated. Please, said Bruce. So then the pencil drew a cat named Mildred. And Bruce, of course, chased Mildred. And Banjo chased Bruce round and round the house which the pencil drew, up and down the road, which the pencil drew, and in and out of the park, which the pencil drew. They ran around for a long, long time, getting hot and bothered, tired and grumpy, and hungry. Draw me an apple, said Banjo. Draw me a pound, said Bruce. Draw me a mouse, meowed Mildred. No, said the pencil, no mouse. All right, cat food then, meowed Mildred. Meow. Only then, we can't eat this. Apple, yelled Banjo. Boom, barked Bruce. Cat food, meowed Mildred. It's black and white. The pencil hesitated, frowned, looked thoughtful for a while, and drew a paintbrush. What's my name, said the paintbrush. Er, Kitty, said the pencil. Splendid, said Kitty. How can I help? After that, Kitty painted the apple and the bone and the cat food. She painted Banjo and Bruce, but not Mildred. Mildred was a black and white cat anyway. She painted the house and the road and the park. What's next, cried the now cheerful and excited pencil. Anything, yelled Kitty. She was excited too. You draw and I'll color it. So they did. Banjo got a little sister named Elsie and mom and dad named Mr. and Mrs. Some grandmas, some grandpas, three or four cousins and an uncle Charlie. Bruce got a friend an Airedale named Polly, and a ball. What's my name, said the ball. Don't be silly, said the pencil. The ball made a sad face. All right then, Sebastian, said the pencil. Then all of a sudden, trouble. Banjo kicked Sebastian and into the air, and he broke a window. Polly ran off with Bruce's bone. What's my name, said the bone. One of Mildred's kittens, which she had just asked for, got stuck up a tree, and everybody was grumpy and started to complain. This hat looks silly, said Mrs. My ears are too big, said Mr. I shouldn't be smoking a pipe, said Grandpa. Get rid of these ridiculous sneakers, yelled Elsie. The pencil hesitated, frowned looked worried for a while, quivered somewhat, and drew. 
Boy, nobody's happy with what they have, are they? Oh, he drew an eraser. After that, the eraser, as you might expect, rubbed things out. Hats and ears and such. The pencil and the paintbrush drew and painted them again, and everybody was happy. Only then, more trouble. The eraser rubbed other things out. He was excited, too. He rubbed the table out and the chair out and the rug out and the front door out and the whole house out. He rubbed the tree out and the kitten, who was still up in it, out, and the other kittens out, and the cousins and the grandmas and Uncle Charlie, out, out, out. He rubbed the road out and the park out and the sky out. He rubbed everything, even Kitty the paintbrush, out. Now, once more, there was only the pencil, that lonely little pencil, and nothing else. The eraser kept on coming. The pencil drew a wall to stop him. The eraser rubbed it out. He drew a cage to keep him in. The eraser rubbed it out. He drew a river and some mountains with lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my! The eraser rubbed them out. Then when all seemed lost and there was absolutely no escape, that brave and clever little pencil quivered somewhat, shivered slightly, and drew. What do you think he drew? Another eraser! And what did these two erasers do? Their names were Ronald and Rodney, by the way. Yes, of course, as you will surely guess, they rubbed each other out. After that, of course, of course, the pencil drew Banjo and Bruce, Mildred and the others all over again, and Kitty. He drew her as well, colored them in. He put the sun back in the sky, the house back on the road, the kittens back in the tree, the grass back in the park, and a picnic. A lovely, brand new picnic out on the grass. The picnic lasted for a long, long time. Banjo played soccer with Sebastian. Oh, and his little cousins. Banjo's dad tried eating a boiled egg named Billy, but it ran off. A whole column of ants, what are our names, said the ants, came marching across the picnic cloth. Oh, he even named them. Look at, we've Alice, Alvy. Abraham, Amy. That's an unusual one. Amanita, Alberic, Algernon, Anastasia, Ada, and Alan. Oh my goodness. They all begin with A. Finally, the sun went down. The eating and the games and the adventure stopped, and everybody and everything went home to bed. The pencil drew a moon in the sky and some darkening hills, and Kitty the paintbrush painted them, and drew a snug little box with a cozy lining, and Kitty painted that too. She painted him too. And the end. So they have a little box to sleep in. There's the paintbrush and there's the pencil. Let's see what we have in our magic bag today. Oh, we have a few things. Well, look at this, of course. What else would an artist have? But erasers, well-loved erasers, as you can see. Oh, I think we have one more in here. Yeah, this one's really well-loved. These are erasers. Sometimes it's good to make mistakes, and it's nice when you can correct them. An eraser, E-R-A-S-E-R. -E so draw something amazing today. Have a great day. See you next time.